All right, we got a, another lane throwing up another error code 76. Uh, the 76 is the uh, the ST, the spotting tong switch. It's expected but not found. Uh, in the past, I've shown you uh, just where the the uh, tooth rack, the geared tooth rack on the table is bouncing back and forth, and that'll keep the spotting tong switch off of it. And I showed you how to uh, things to do to adjust that and check that. Another one I showed you in the past was where your spotting tongs will just be crossed underneath the table. But we got a new one here. I'm going to show it to you just so you'll know. I got it in uh, diagnostic. So I got it in the diagnostic. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. It's probably not even going to cycle once. I'll just go down and uh, jam up again. Yeah, it's about to shut off. I'll go ahead and show you right now what it is. Across this uh, this clutch, you got your clutch that goes across here. And it's this, uh, try and light up just the one. That one that goes straight across. Right there, that's the culprit. That uh, gear wheel on it. The Allen set screws came loose on it. It walked off the drive shaft from it. Came over to the left, it's supposed to be snug up against that housing there. We're going to go ahead and uh, th take a 3 millimeter Allen screw and we'll go ahead and get that tightened up. Alright, I said it was a 3 millimeter Allen screw, but uh, it's a 3 millimeter Allen set screw in this gear. I'm going to rotate it around. I like my gears to where I can see both the set screws at the same time. So I can get that. Get you where you can see what I'm doing here. So I got the the gear pushed all the way up, rotating the shaft around so I can see the bot. There's the bottom set screw. Now I got the bottom one and the top one together. I'm gonna push with some tension. <clears throat> push with some tension as I tighten that down to uh, compress this area here between the the plastic housing of the switch cluster. See if I can get this thing tightened up for us. Sorry about knock the camera down. All right. So I got it. Uh, I got it tight and compressed. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it some more. I just know it was tight together. I had to use two hands to do that. It was a, uh, just to verify, yes, it, it was a 3 millimeter Allen wrench that tightened that up. So uh, now that I got it tight, it should be able to operate fine. Same lane. All right, that's what it was this time. It was that uh, drive gear across the slip clutch shaft. Just uh, press it up tight, tighten it down with your 3 millimeter Allen wrench, and it should be getting you back up and running.